Howdy, howdy, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. Today I'm gonna to be talking about some new stuff that I've gotten. So a couple places have been having sales recently and I just got, I've been waiting forever on a couple of these packages. There's only three, so don't like freak out. I'm not like buying everything in the world, but I've got some stuff from Meow Meow Tweet, from Mount Cosmetics, and from Lime Crime. First things I wanna talk about is the stuff I got from Meow Meow Tweet. It's been sitting here forever and I haven't like used it or anything so um i wanted to kind of get into that my hair wow my hair is like crazy today i put it i put some leave-in conditioner in it and then i braided it and slept on it so this is what came of that i didn't do anything else to it that's literally it <laughs> so if you haven't heard of meow meow tweet they are a vegan cruelty free ethically packaged like eco-friendly brand so their thing is that they don't ship water so all their stuff is like kind of concentrated or it's like in bar form or they have they sell refills so much i think is really awesome so if you go to one of those like zero waste stores or like a bulk refill shop they generally have a lot of meow meow tweet because they have like offer refill bulk sizes of a lot of their products. Buy from them on their website, you can buy like one of these little things, like a product that comes in a pump like this, and then you can either buy like just this part without the pump so you're not wasting all this plastic. And then there's also, um, they sell like bigger bottles of it that you can refill a smaller one like this. So I think that is a really great idea. And then they'll also, when you buy the bulk one and you use that up, you can send it back to them and they can reuse it. So it's kind of like a closed loop system, which I think is really awesome. I wish a lot of more makeup brands would do that. That'd be sweet. So I got a couple bar products and then I got some um, like oil type things. So I'll get into the bars first, I guess. So they come in this really, this really cute packaging. But the bars come in this cardboard and this one is the grapefruit mint body soap there's gonna be like soap shavings all over my table that's cool but that's that's fine <laughs> i'll clean it off here is the grapefruit mint bar so like, obviously i haven't used this yet but i really like the scent so if you haven't seen my other videos or if you haven't heard me talk about this basically i don't like strongly scented things like i would not go out of my way to purchase a scented like body wash or a lotion or anything like that. I don't wear perfume. I can't stand candles. Like I, I don't like scents, but if it's something like this where it's natural, I can deal with it because usually the scent goes away fairly quickly. Then I got the Tangerine Basil Body Soap. I do like basil. Um, it's one of my few exceptions to my scenty rule. This definitely smells very herbally like basil and um, I'm only getting a lot of tangerine out of it though, mostly basil. It has like those little scrubby things in it. Oh, it has poppy seeds. So these little dudes are poppy seeds. And the last bar I got was the Pink Rose Clay Facial Soap. And you can use this, it says you can use this on your face or body. So a lot of, I said most of their products are multi-purpose. So here's this one. That's got like the two-sided kind of. Yeah, just kind of, the only scent I have of this is like a, the rosy. It also has lavender in it. So the ingredients in this is um, water, olive oil, coconut oil, shea butter, sunflower seed oil, castor seed oil, French pink clay, rose petals, lavender, palmarosa oil, and geranium oil. That's it. That's amazing. <laughs> so I um, definitely would repurchase these. I've... Hot take, but I feel like this is a lot more natural than Lush. So I might, um, I think I'll probably from now on go with Meow Meow Tweet first, and then if they don't have something, Go with Lush because <laughs> Lush does have a lot of naked products, but their ingredients aren't as natural as you think they are. So, on to these other things that I got. So, their bottle things come in this little instead of like a big box, they just come in this little piece of like pasteboard kind of thing. And this is the Lemon Rose Cleansing Oil. So I have wanted to try an oil cleanser. I didn't realize that this is what I got, but I have actually wanted to try one. Been been wanting to try an oil cleanser, and I think this would be really great for that. I am also thinking about working on a special washcloth for oil cleansers for my website called for Stitchery. So um, this is says massage a small amount over dry face and eyes. Place a very warm wet washcloth over face for 30 seconds. Gently wipe away until face is clean. 
So I'm assuming this is supposed to like take off makeup and everything. Um, so the ingredients on this is jojoba oil, coconut oil, hazelnut oil, and essential oils of lemon, palmarose, and rose geranium. So this is really natural. There's no preservative. It's just literally oils and essential oil. So, and this one is one of those that you can buy a refill of, or you can buy this little thing without the pump. Then this one is the geranium palmarosa face toner. So this has witch hazel, distil, distil, distillate, water, rose hydrosol, vegetable glycerin, apple cider vinegar, loo, something I can't read, <laughs> radish root ferment, filtrate, essential oils of lavender, geranium, palmarosa, and immortelli. So after, after cleansing, close eyes and spritz face and neck for best results. Follow with moisturizer while skin is still moist. So it says separation is natural, so if there's something in here that might like separate. I do have a, another toner that I'm using right now um, from a not so natural brand, so maybe I'll like kind of alternate and see which one I like better. But I just I, forever I did not use a toner, and I, now I'm like I'm using one. I'm kind of seeing the difference, so you know. And then this next one is the Sweet Orange Neroli Body Oil. So this is a little bit thicker of an oil than just a tiny bit though of the than the um, oil cleanser. So this has sunflower oil, hemp seed oil, jojoba oil, coconut oil, vitamin E, essential oils of sweet orange, neroli, bergamot, rose, geranium, and ylang ylang. So I do appreciate this has vitamin E in it because um, vitamin E is really good for your skin. So and the last one that I got, I didn't realize that I got this teeny tiny little thing. I thought it was going to be the same size as these, but this is the juniper carrot seed face oil. And this is like a sample size. So it came in this little bag. I'm gonna keep it in here because there's like nothing that says what it is. It's a teeny tiny little, like the cutest little dropper bottle. So this has hemp seed oil, jojoba oil, sesame oil, and essential oils of geranium, juniper, patchouli, vetiver, and carrot seed. So I'm gonna like smell this. Yeah, I don't really know what this smells like. So all those random, not really random, but all those other essential oils. So. Um, I'll keep that in this bag so I know what it is. If I like that, I'd, I'd get like the big size of it because it seems silly to get the little tiny ones. Or I can get the refill size. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. So that was it from Meow Meow Tweet. I did have a few other things from them that I got recently from uh, my last haul of like where I talked about my eco-friendly stuff that I got like around Earth Day. And I got a lip balm from them, which I've tried and I really, really like. And actually over right here is the Sweet Orange Tangerine Lip Balm, and this is in cardboard, so, um, you know, once you've used it up, there, it, it'll, like, biodegrade, compost, all that stuff, and there is actually a ton of product in here, so this is 28 grams of product, and then this one, like the standard lip balm from Hurrah, has um, 4.8 so like five times the amount of product in this one. So it's definitely worth the money because um, it's great. And it's not in plastic. And then I also have, it's up there, but it's the baking soda free deodorant stick and it's in the cedar and spruce scent. And I'm trying that out. I've been testing it for the past week or so. Um, I've only found one natural deodorant that doesn't absolutely kill my underarms. Like, they kind of give me chemical burns. So, hopefully that one, I haven't had any problems with it yet. But usually I start to notice it around when I get, like, halfway through a stick. So, um, I'll keep trying it and let you know if it works. So far, it's working with, like, controlling the scent, you know, like, the deodorant part. But I'm just kind of waiting to see before I, like, bite the bowl and recommend it or, like, repurchase another one if it's going to irritate my skin. So the next thing I got was, my hair, gosh, is this one from Melt Cosmetics. So they, this came in like this really cool box. The, my, the drives me insane is that the, I ordered three lipsticks and it came in this. Why? Like I get that this is like universal size, like their palettes and stuff would fit in here, but like, can't just get a smaller, with a little sticker, which I thought was pretty cool. And then I got three lipsticks. They had these on like super, super sale. Um, so this is, I haven't even opened these yet. This one is the Liquid Set Lipstick in the shade of Fawn. And I actually have never purchased from Melt before. So that's my first time trying these. Oh, these are like, I don't think I've ever seen their packaging. So this, it just has a little window like around their under their logo, then there's a little window on the side. That's the only way you can see what 
the color is. I don't know if I like that, but um, it does say the fawn on the and oh, and this I do appreciate. It says the manufacturing date on it plainly for 1919. So it's um, about a year old, but uh, maybe that's why they're on sale. But I really appreciate that brands do that um, instead of doing like that batch code because it's really hard to decipher uh, when they when they were made. I do like this applicator. It's kind of like flat instead of that round kind of thing. This is a really strong scent. I want to say that's like vanilla. I could be wrong though. I do like this shade. It's it's called Fawn and it's kind of like a brownie nude. I really like that because a lot of nudes kind of lean pink and I'm not the big fan of pink. So I think this will be nice. And then I got two of their matte lipsticks. Um, this one is called Tomboy. It's kind of that same. It's in that matte packaging. I think this is metal. Is this metal? No, I think it's plastic. It kind of feels like metal. Oh, I don't know if this is going to work for me. It has that same scent. Uh, it might. So there is Tomboy right there. It's kind of like a brownish gray. I do like the gray shades, but I don't know. This It looked really light in the tube, but it looks like once you apply it, it gets a little bit darker. And the last one which I was excited about is the shade called Nude. So Melt Nude is like a... It's spelled N-O-O-D. It's a cult classic favorite shade. So um, and I don't have any light nudes, so hopefully this one works for me. There are children absolutely screaming outside. This is a pinky nude. Eh. I mean, it, it'll look like a different color on my lips, obviously, but I think this would work. So three, of, I actually succeeded in getting three different colors instead of five of the same one like I usually do. <laughs> so um, yay me, but these were like super, super reduced. That's the only reason I got them. Um, which I wanted to try them anyways, but I just went ahead and did it because they were on sale. So the last package I got was from Lime Crime. So if you weren't aware, there has been like, like Lime Crime has been canceled for a long time. <laughs> like hashtag canceled, you know, that kind of thing because there was like scandals and you can probably Google it and see, I'm not gonna try to explain it in this video, but basically a lot of people had boycotted them forever um, because of some of the stuff that their previous owner did, but now they have new, like that person has kind of left the company, so they're kind of trying to rebuild. So, um, you know, you do with that as you will. It's a cruelty-free vegan company. They don't have a parent company that I know of. Um, so, you know, and then I saw that they had, um, hair dye, which I was interested in, that also one of those cult classic lip signatures I am wearing today. Um, so I'll show you that in a minute. But it came in this cute little box. Little lime cream thingy on there. And put this down. And it came like the, the return address was from like a different company's name. So I was like, what is this? I didn't order anything from this company, but anyways. So the first thing I got, um, I opened it already because I wore it today. It's the Velveteen's lipstick in the shade Cashmere. So I had never gotten the shade. It's been like a cult favorite forever. And um, I like it so far. It's definitely my kind of shade that I would probably buy like 15 of on accident. So there is um, Cashmere right there. And I honestly thought the shade was going to be a little bit more on the gray side. And a couple of lip products, and I'll show you the hair dye. So they came out with this. I actually had, hadn't heard of these until they, well, I, didn't, I wasn't even following them on Instagram. Like, I kind of forgot they existed. So um, these are the Plushies Soft Focus Lip Veil. So these are kind of like a more sheared out liquid lipstick. So the one that caught my attention from the, like, model swatches was the shade called Cola. How are you supposed to open this? I do not appreciate that this is pl as plastic on here, but I wish it was, um, I mean, it's cool that it's like transparent, but I wish that it was not plastic. These smell like pop rocks. <laughs> it's kind of like oddly specific. Or like blue, ra well, kind of like blue raspberry, maybe? Maybe I'm totally off and maybe it's not supposed to be that. Oh, I see what they mean. Unless I didn't, wait a minute, did I, did I not stir that up or something? 
Yeah, okay. So these are supposed to be a, I guess like a, I mean, you can totally still see my skin through that, but that is a shade of cola and it's a really sheer like stain almost. So I'm curious to see how this is going to work if it would like settle into lines or anything. Um, so I'll give those a try and let you know. And then this other one that I got is called Butterscotch. This is kind of more of a orangey like terracotta. It's right, right here. I really like both of those and I actually did manage to get a bunch of different colors. So yay me. Um, and then this one came free with the order and um, it's a lip gloss. I'm not a lip gloss person. Maybe I'll give this a try. Uh, I'd, I'd, yeah, I don't know. This is called uh, the Wet Cherry Ultra Shiny Lip Gloss and this is a shade Extra Poppin'. So it's basically just a clear lip gloss so you can wear this over anything else. And it's really cool that the little wand is clear too and looks like water in there, but it's obviously not. No, I want to open it. I'm going to open it and try it. Maybe not try it on, but you know. It does have a smell. I am really bad at identifying smell. Is this supposed to be cherry? Since it's called wet cherry, that would make sense. Yeah, I don't know. But um, I have another video to film and I don't want to ruin my uh, lip lipstick with that, so. Oh, that's cute, it's got a little cherry on top. See, I like Lime Crimes, um, like branding, packaging, that kind of stuff. Then my favorite part of this is this unicorn hair tint. So this is meant to be like a lighter hair dye. So this is in the shade is six. And there's kind of what the color is supposed to look like. It'll probably be a little bit lighter than that because my hair is um, bleach blonde. This is unicorn hair tints transform hair into a rainbow of magical shades while leaving strands silky smooth and smelling sweet. The watercolor effect of tints leaves a soft wash of color on pre-bleached platinum to pale blonde hair. Results may vary based on the color and condition of hair. Unicorn hair is ready to use. Do not mix with developers like or any permanent hair colorant. So... Yeah, I'm pretty excited to try this. So I have tried, the only hair that I used previously was Arctic Fox. So, um, it's interesting. I like that, it, I don't know if, I guess it's better that it's in the pot like this because you can just dip a brush into it instead of having to like pour it out and, oops, I just stuck my hand in the swatches. <laughs> but there's that, it comes in this little tube. And I got two of these. It says, um, it says on here how many you need. So it said for, a uh, short bob length, you need one jar, or a below shoulder to waist length, you need two jars. So, I mean, I don't know if, how well you consider this, if this is like below shoulder, I guess. So I might need two. But I don't know if I've ever used this much dye for my hair, so I, maybe I'll just have an extra for, um, you know, when I need to touch up, I guess. But I'm just, I've kind of wanted this type of color for a while, and I really... Like before, when I used to, if you watch like my old videos or if you want to scroll back through my thumbnails on my videos, I dye my hair any variations. I have um, pink, orange, and yellow dyes that I kind of kept trying to mix into like a peach shade and that never worked. Um, or if I found a shade that I liked, I couldn't replicate it because I just kind of just mixed randomly. So hopefully I just stick to one color and that's it. And it'll be a little bit easier to keep up with. So that was it for this haul. Let me know what you think. I might do a separate video about these um, like cult classic lipsticks. And uh, yeah, go through the thumbs up if that was interesting. And also let me know if you want me to uh, talk about any of these, like review any of these products specifically. I don't know, maybe meow meow tweet. Um, I'll definitely be doing more about them. I do want to try like their full range. They have like an SPF and other stuff that I want to try. So um, yeah, let me know what you want to see and give this, video a thumb give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was interesting and subscribe to some of the other ones and I will see you in the next one. Bye.